So we're at Puppet Labs here with Nigel Kirsten, uh, CTO of Puppet Labs. Uh, as far as the enterprise product goes, uh, Nigel, how, tell me a little bit uh, uh, about the product itself. How does sure. It so we make a whole bunch of really great open source products here at Puppet Labs, and we combine all of those together, really sort of battle-hardened, tried and tested versions of all those that we guarantee work really, really well together, deploy them all according to best practices so that new users or existing Puppet users can just out of the box within a couple of minutes get up and running with their infrastructure and they get everything going. They get Puppet, which is our great config management system. They get mCollective for orchestration, all set up in a highly scalable manner, along with the dashboard and all of the graphical interfaces. There's also some commercial software that's only in the proprietary version. Like we give you what we call live management, which is a really great way to do ad hoc orchestration and get insight into what your infrastructure is actually doing here and now. So which, which area of enterprise um, are you focused on? We, we hit all sorts, you know, um, I believe if you've seen the Teo video from earlier, we hit the financial sectors really big, gaming industry, web shops, pretty much anyone who's got lots of computers to run, and even people who've only got a few to run. If, you're, if you've got a couple of machines and it's important enough to restore their configuration in case of disaster recovery, it's important enough to automate them. So we have people running with 10 machines, we have people running with tens of thousands. And so uh, as, as, a, as a whole, how, how do you focus on such a broad audience? I think honestly, um, as far as infrastructure goes, most people's infrastructure is reasonably similar. No matter what industry you're in, you're going to have a Linux machine that you're running, AIX, Solaris, you're going to want to create users, you're going to want to manage web services, Java applications. A lot of these needs really cut across all of those verticals. I see. What, uh, what is the difference between the, the open source side of things as, and as opposed to the enterprise? Sure. Side? So when you buy the enterprise version, as I was saying, you get all of our components out of the box. So you've got one simple installer you run, and you get all of those components all configured to talk to each other. We have the same version of Puppet that's in Puppet Enterprises in the open source. We're very much not trying to fork those communities. If you write Puppet modules for the open source, they work with Puppet Enterprise and vice versa. You just get a much, much simpler setup that's much easier to maintain. We deploy the full stack as well, so if you're on a really ancient Linux that, say, doesn't come with a very good Ruby, there's none of that sort of messing around and going, how do I find a good version of Ruby that my stack will run on? Puppet Enterprise is fully self-sufficient out of the box. Well, what, set, what sets Puppet Labs apart from your competitors? Sure, so I think really our competitors are the sort of big and heavy config management systems. It's the BMCs, it's the CSAs, it's HP server automation. And a lot of those systems are really big and honestly we don't feel like they're that they're targeted at the actual needs of the sysadmin. I think one of the things that's really special about Puppet Labs is that we have really strong sysadmin DNA. I was a sysadmin, most of our exec committee were sysadmins at some point, many of our programmers, professional services people, we know what sysadmins do. And we're very much building software to solve their problems. It's not necessarily traditional enterprise software where you're marketing at the management who then force it on their sysadmins. Right. We're trying to make software that delights sysadmins themselves. <laughs> well, uh, where, do you, where do you see this going? I mean, you know, you've you obviously had a heck of a lot of growth. Um, where do you see Puppet Labs two, three years down the road here? Um, I think we're gonna, we're gonna keep seeing sort of our core competencies in like making computers do work, continue to get better and better but I see us getting more and more insight out of your infrastructure, like collecting the actual data, knowing what's going on, being able to port applications much more quickly from one environment to another. These are all the things that we're really great at now, but I think we can be even better.